Now, an outpouring of support tonight for the Arlington mother who was struck and killed by a dump truck yesterday as she was putting her child into the minivan. Jennifer Donlin is live from the scene outside of Nottingham Elementary School with how that community is coming together tonight. Jen? Well, Leon, this is Nottingham Elementary behind me. Across the street, you can see a growing makeshift memorial, the spot where 39-year-old Jennifer Lawson, a mother of three, was killed yesterday. We have seen from that accident yesterday. It was 11.30 yesterday morning. Police say Lawson was placing one of her children back inside her minivan. She was standing on the street when a commercial dump truck slammed into her killing her. Now, we've learned that the critical accident team with Arlington County Police still investigating this case. They've not yet handed over their findings to the Commonwealth's attorney. The Commonwealth's attorney will ultimately decide whether or not to press charges against the driver. Today, a true reflection of this community's need to help an individual outside of the family and an expression of support began a memorial website. Now, hours ago, he had raised $2,000 for the family. We just checked that number now over $12,000. We spoke with parents here at the school just a few moments ago, obviously still in shock, and some are calling for change. How is that father ever going to cope with three young children, and, and how will those children? There's a child that saw his mother killed in front of his eyes, and I just, my heart stopped. This section of Little Falls was narrowed on purpose for what they call traffic calming, but it's obviously been a deadly solution. That mother telling us that a group of parents planning to go to the county to ask for change. I want to show you this yellow line. This is where the cars can park. This is the street. Not a lot of room for error here. This afternoon, we spoke with a spokesperson for the Lawson family. Her husband has not spoken publicly yet. This is the statement. We have it for you, saying that the family's been overwhelmed with the amount of support from the community and church. And because of the tight nature of the family, they are still asking for privacy in their time of grief. If you wish to contribute to that website, the website that has been set up by someone outside of the family, you can go to our website, wjla.com, for more information on that. Reporting live from Arlington, I'm Jennifer Dottolin. Back to you.